Welcome back to another episode guys. We are on Lake Winnipeg today, but today's video is brought to you guys by Dollar Shave Club. I have been on the road like just a crazy amount of time this year and as you guys know I've done Dollar Shave Club in the past. It's something I use to this day because I hate going into the stores and I just don't have the time. It's so convenient to have these razors brought right to your door. You pick it up, you throw it in the truck and uh, look at this. That's just gross. Like, you know, a couple months ago I started growing these little hairs out of my face. It's like, what do I do with this? Well, Dollar Shave Club is exactly what you need. So they give you this box of amazing, great things. You come out here, you've got one wipe Charlie's, you've got a razor, razor blades, you get shave butter, and you get body cleanser. Honestly, this is even awesome because I always forget to pack shampoo with me whenever I'm traveling. But I'm not going to be using this today. I'm going to be using a little bit of shea butter and a little bit of razors here, boys and girls. It's currently negative 14 out. This might be the coldest ever shaving ever done in the history of the world. Dipped it in the ice hole. Is this my smartest decision I've ever made? Definitely not. This is just, it's not even going to hurt. It's just cold. My hands are cold. My life's cold. Just a tip for all you guys at home. If you guys do need a mirror out when you're ice fishing, use your phone. Acts as a great mirror. But if you're like me and you guys want to check out Dollar Shave Club, they're basically giving away their shit shower and shave pack, which I got below for $5. Make sure you use my code, which is right here, as well as click it in the description below, and it'll take you right to their site where you can order all of this stuff. They're a huge supporter of AP Bassin. My fingers are currently numb. I'm not going to lie, this went a lot smoother than I thought it would. You could actually shave your face when it is this cold out. Oh, definitely missed the spot. We're all cleaned up. We're all ready to get started with this day. If you guys do want to get this $5 offer, make sure to use my code www.dollarshaveclub.com slash APBassin or click the link in my description and you guys can get nice and clean, looking fresh like me. Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. Hey Rick, the camera is fogged up right now. Oh, I think it's small, but that's right because the camera's frozen right now. <laughs> here we go. He's gonna back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yep. Hey. Nope. Camera is frozen. Oh, that is a greenback. Well, that's not a bad sign. We didn't even have a chance to get kind of set up what we're gonna be doing today. Luckily, that's not a 28 incher because you guys are gonna find out what I'm gonna do if I don't catch a 28 incher. But but that's a good sign. It's a good sign. We might have to really stay here all time. day. Stay here all day now? All day. One fish, stay here all day? Half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> We've set up kind of on the outside of the whole group of people fishing the mouth of the red. We're on the west side of the red, east side of the red. We're on the east side of the red, part of my uh, French there. And uh, that's a nice greenback. If you're gonna eat fish, that'd be a good eater. But that's not what we're here for, eh, Rick? See you later, bud. You wanna know something? Yeah. That's the first time that a fish came in and ate your bait over that bait. You're right. So maybe they want that bait. Times are changing, bud. Times are changing. Times are changing. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed my little skit I did this morning with Dollar Shave Club. Um, I always like using companies that I actually believe in. And uh, since my male audience is like 95% male, hopefully you guys can find some use to Dollar Shave Club. But what's a, what's a little, you know, sponsor without doing something funny? So Flair shaved lines in his legs last time we did a Dollar Shave Club um, deal. So I'm going to shave my lace completely. If Spencer and I do not catch a 28 inch walleye. One today? 28 inch walleye, that's our goal. Today or and tomorrow or just today? Just today. Okay. The thing about Lake Winnipeg is there's no rhyme or reason why there's a walleye anywhere. It's just kind of like, here's 10 foot mud, go fish it. Bunch of houses everywhere. And that's kind of the gist of what's going on today. Um, but hopefully my legs stay nice and hairy because we don't want shaved legs so I look like a woman. That's the gist. Master Angler in Manitoba's 28 inches. That's our goal of today. If Spencer and I catch it. You know, he's gonna save me, or maybe I'll save myself. But if cameraman Sam catches it, it doesn't count. So uh, Sam so will probably catch one. He's pretty good luck. So that's the Jets of today. Let's stay nice and warm and catch some big walleyes out here on Lake Winnipeg. <laughs> Today's lunch is brought to you by Tim Hortons. But more importantly, the lady at Tim Hortons, who we ordered in the drive thru today, we took a risk by taking the trailer and the truck to the drive thru. It was pretty sketchy. But when we went there, we made it very clear that I wanted four carrot cake muffins. I wanted two. 
two fruit explosion muffins. His buddy over here gave us a hard time yesterday for getting the carrot cake ones. Well, meanwhile, Sobiak and myself loved the carrot cake. So we went back and got four. Buddy got us two. But today, we didn't check the box. We got it on the ice setup right now, and she screwed us. She only gave us two carrot cakes, and Buddy got his, buddy got his four fruit explosions. He's happy. Meanwhile, Sobiak and I are not very happy right now. So, to the gal, Tim Hortons in Selkirk, we will be back, and we will make it very clear to you we want four carrot cakes and zero fruit explosions. We started off this morning negative 14. It's getting hotter outside, so we are actually going to try and move outside and uh, move around now. We don't know. Anybody in the comments, let us know if Winnipeg is a sit down and just sit there and fish for nothing, or if we should be moving around. We don't know. Uh, we got lucky yesterday, caught one nice one, and... Uh, we're it's finally warming up outside. We need to get out of this house and move around a little we, bit. We do. We've just been in here we, way uh, too we've been long. We've been a little long. Like two Having hours. a good time though. Today's been fun. It's been fun. Today's been a good time. Other than that, Tim Hortons kind of screwed us, but other than that, we're having a good day. We have no idea. This is our last idea. We're going to fish right here. Wow. Winnipeg does get a little boring when you're not catching them, but people are fishing outside, so we're going to drill some holes and uh, Try and find them. So we set up on a new spot here. We're fishing outside at this spot. A lot of people wonder what this thing is right here. Well, this is just a flasher unit um a bunch of different companies make them it is a unit that lets you know where your bait is you can see your bait all the whole water column and your bait so you're jigging you're jigging and the moral of the story is you'll see another mark come up and that'll be a fish you set the hook and that's a fish so it's really easy to use one of these units when you're ice fishing i wouldn't go ice fishing without one and uh definitely uh we'll check them out there's so many brands out there you do not have to pick any brand they're all okay. Oh my gosh, that's a big mark. Oh my goodness, that's He's a big mark. Eat. He's gonna eat. <gasps> oh, yes! Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. He's wrapped up. Be careful. Careful, he's wrapped up. Oh, oh my oh. god! Wait. <laughs> Look at that one, Allie! Finally! Finally, 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 finally. You wanna know what's up. hilarious about this? Finally, we hook up. This is the, whatever, fourth, fifth spot out here on Lake Winnipeg. And we needed some cameraman luck. He said, give me one spot to jig. I got behind the camera. And he said, also he said, turn the camera off. off. I don't know what it is. You turn that thing off. And it happens. And this guy came up and just throttled. Look at that greenback. That is a big greenback. I would say it's probably like a 28 incher. One's right there. This goes to 29. Dude, this is 29 inch here. Okay, hang on. Hang on, put that back. <laughs> you're shaving. No, I'm not shaving. Oh, you're not shaving. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not. Oh, that's sick. That is a hog. That's a 29 that's inch a big walleye. one. <laughs> Holy cow, it's a big one. I did not think it was that big. Yeah. <laughs> this is just our luck. Just so, our luck. Sam says turn the cameras off. So we did. I and got the whole hook up on camera, though. I was sitting behind there spitting seeds and just waiting for something to happen. And he goes, big mark, big mark. Boom, camera's on, hook set, I got everything. That was a big mark. Big That's mark, the biggest, biggest fish in the trip. You know, you spend so much time on Lake Winnipeg, and Look at that. it's one bite away from a 29 inch walleye. Look at all but more importantly is you don't have to shave. My you eyebrow, don't have to shave. My eyebrow is staying on, folks. Spencer catches a giant today. I just sit behind the camera up and just hammered it. Like it hammered it so yeah. hard. Let's get her back. You put him back. You want to weigh it? Not doing anything. Super. There she goes. Boom. That's awesome. Yes, dude. That's awesome. That's what it's all about. As Alex said, any minute. We're super down. We're not going to lie to you. We haven't caught many fish I'm at all. I'm so down. Like, and it's, uh, but it's, that's what it's like fishing out here on Lake Winnipeg. And that's one mark we got here in a little deeper water. Yeah. So I think the program is shallower morning what we did Deeper. what we did should we yeah. tell them i mean we, we went we were in really shallow by not Pretty a lot of everybody. people but people everybody's fishing and like 12 we both just agreed hey let's just go way away from everybody so what we did is we went into a group of just a bunch of ice thieves at a truck 
because it's all trucks in there that can't get out here. So we just drove right to the middle of it and paid off. Nice! Would have paid green back. Oh wow. Well, it looks like um, I've been cursed with the small fish uh, in the past few days here on Lake Winnipeg. We turned the camera off because we can't seem to get bit when we turn the camera on. Facts. And literally we just got bit again. Spencer's outside doing some stuff. He literally just went outside. We just turned the camera off. Within five seconds, we hook up on the third fish of the day. It'd be a nice eater, but we're not eating. It's crazy. You don't mark a fish and not catch them or get a bite at least. They, they're they so aggressive. The problem is just getting around them or getting those fish to swim through. Rattle bait, Winnipeg walleye. Pound it, man. Pound it. <laughs> There's more down there. He's coming up. Oh my God, he's coming up. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm bigger than the last one. Are you kidding me, Alex? I wish we would have had. Literally, just, I can't put my finger in the gill because it's, it's swallowed. Look at that bait. Are you kidding me? Just inhaled. Every mark we've caught, or every mark we've marked, every fish we've marked, we've caught. Well, that's another classic scenario of Alex reeling up and I mark one. He absolutely destroyed the bait. Crazy, crazy bite, cool. We're gonna slide this one right back. We got, uh, Number two for the big one for the day. I don't I don't know, probably like a 25 inch Alex, would you yeah. say? Cool. It's still a six pounder. That's awesome. Cool. Kicked hard. We did we did get some blood there and I mean there's nothing you can really do when a fish eats that bait. Like look right. at that. That bait was down that fish's gullet. Um there's definitely fish in this area. We're on we're on something. We've caught two nice fish. We haven't moved yet yeah. off the last fish that Spencer just caught. But <laughs> just get your line in the water. Just the rest of the day. Look at look at my deucer right Leave. now. Leave. I was snagged in my deucer right there. That fish came through. And you know, it could have ain't my bait. Could have caught a nice Winnipeg wall. I don't know what that feels like. The truck is right over there. That's where I shaved my face this morning. You know, luckily I don't have to shave um my eyebrows. I said in the earlier part of the day I was gonna shave something if I didn't catch a master angler. Or if I didn't, I think I was going to shave my legs, but also they told me that I was going to have to shave my eyebrow. That was what kind of the behind the scenes bet was. Um, if n nobody caught a master angler, we ended up catching a fish that was over 29 inches long. Spencer did. And uh, Lake Winnipeg uh, kicked me right in the butt once again today. I've never jigged so hard on this lake and not caught. Just, if you guys didn't know this, I came back here a month ago. I think I mentioned this yesterday's video. Jigged. The, fit, the bite was not on. The bite is now on. I just hit the camera, but the bite is now on here. And I still can't catch a fish. So I don't know if we're going to come back out here tomorrow morning. We might. Tomorrow's video will definitely pick us pick up by us leaving Winnipeg. We have something crazy we might do. Um, we kind of are trying to figure out logistics and do a whole bunch of stuff out here. But we're going to get some food. We're going to get some bait. And we are going to end up either coming back out here and I'm going to catch a big walleye. Because if I come back out here, I'm going to catch a big walleye. Or if not, I will be back like Winnipeg. And a uh, huge shout out to Dollar Shave Club for helping us out with today's video, for letting me get a nice clean look, and also for not making me shave my eyebrows. So thank you guys so much. My legs are still hairy, my eyebrows are still on, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Let's the rest of it.